Hi guys, good morning. So I need to film a couple videos. I wanted to do a what's in my bag for my little mini Celine because I actually have not done that. And I think it's so cute and it's very kind of practical for date night, I feel like. I think I featured it here and there, but I didn't do a, like a dedicated video on it, which I want to. And that's like honestly one of my favorite bags. Like I wish I had it in a bigger size. I think I told you guys that in my Goyard unboxing that that's something that like I initially wanted aside from the tote. Also, I got comments in my video saying that the green is better in a mini and that I should have gotten the PM in navy, but like obviously I said in the video that the green was not available at the time and I use the navy more often anyway because I feel like it's so neutral for what it is and I just don't feel like I would have been able to wear what I've been wearing with it and like have it for date night and stuff. It's casual enough where you can dress it down but then you can also wear it for dinner. Like I'll put it in an outfit here and I wouldn't have been able to do that with the green one. I feel like a green one looks very out of place if you wear it like for date night or like dinner. Whereas this one, it's really nice to be able to use it both ways. I need to film a get ready well actually i already filmed the get ready with me but i just need to i told you guys yesterday that i just need to film the intro and then i actually didn't even get the other dossier stuff that i was supposed to feature in the video but i'll talk about the candles and then the scents that i'm loving for autumn and i want to film like a cozy like autumn video tomorrow like a day in my life and i also wanted to film maybe a morning routine but i can't film both simultaneously because it like doesn't make sense if I film like a full day in my life and then literally the whole first portion is the same as another video so I'm gonna do it differently and also the farmer's market is open tomorrow so I hope the lady that had the juices is gonna be there because I wanted some more juices I have to start getting my outfits for New York I actually ordered some things from Zara so I'm excited for them to come in they should either come in tomorrow or Thursday I did not go to Legree today because you guys, I could not fall asleep until like 4 this morning, which is, it's very strange. Like, I don't know why this has been happening to me. I usually don't have an issue with falling asleep, but lately it's been more and more. And I think, so this actually happened Sunday night and yesterday. And I think it's because I drank because Sunday night we went to VC Clat and I did have a drink. And then yesterday I had a drink as well. And it said that it had mezcal in it, but... It tasted like gin, so I don't really know. But anyway, I think it's the drinks. So I'm capped on drinks for October. I'm not going to have any more. I think I want to go to Matsuhisa today just to have sushi, like, because it's healthier than everything else that we've been having, just because we had, like, French and then uh, the funky. Is it funky or funk? I don't know. I just realized we didn't even go on the rooftop, which kind of sucks, but maybe we should go next week because I have a reservation for next week, but I kind of wanted to see the rooftop because I didn't get to see that. Let's go ahead and put some makeup on. I'm just gonna do my everyday makeup. I actually pulled out some eyeshadow palettes that I haven't seen in a long time. And also like some Morphe blushes. I don't think Morphe is even a thing anymore. I should probably throw them away. I've been like throwing away so much stuff and I feel like I feel so it feels so freeing, you know? I just love getting rid of things and I thought about the things that I'm gonna take with me and I'm gonna take this ottoman that I have with the fur on top and then my two trunk nightstands and then my bed and i think that's it everything else has got to go obviously my mattress and my tv my tv has been kind of annoying me but i am gonna keep that the planter pot i'll definitely keep i'll probably get another one and then have them bring it because like the flower district has such great things that like i feel like the only way i would be able to get it to new york without a huge shipping fee is like for me to buy them first and then have them put it on the truck to come i wonder how much it'll be to like ship all my stuff because if you guys moved did you guys just throw everything that had to do with food out like did you keep your sauces did you keep like flour sugar things like that or like non-perishables or did you just kind of like just cut your losses and then just repurchase like when you moved again because i don't know they're just like little things here and there like i feel like i don't know actually <laughs> i guess i don't really know i'm taking my air fryer it's pretty big actually i feel like there are smaller ones that are the same or like work just as well and won't take up as much space and then luna's automatic stuff i need to start getting her papers together there are just a lot of things that i have to do before the move and i have i have two months two months can you believe two months doesn't even sound real like i'm no 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 
Also, all of my pots and pans, definitely taking those, obviously. It's just like, it's interesting to think about like the things that you need and like, did you guys take all your cleaning supplies? Like, let me know what you guys moved with because obviously when I moved from Malibu, I didn't have jack shit, okay? I didn't have anything. I, I didn't even so much as have like a little container of Clorox wipes, like nothing, nothing. It literally came with nothing. And I mean, I had all my personal belongings, but just like appliances and stuff. It's just crazy, like how I accumulated so many things over the span of three years. And I feel like I've done so much growth in three years that I feel super proud of myself because this was obviously a step in the right direction. And I'm so much happier now. I'm not skinnier yet, but I will be. And I just feel so, it feels so freeing just to not necessarily be on my own, but just to not have like, you know, someone like nagging in your ear about like the things you wear, the, the way that you wear your hair, like just little things. Like you don't realize that detrimental to like your mental health until like you get out of it and you see it. I think relationships are actually so good, especially long-term ones, because once you get out of it, you will find yourself and you realize things that you didn't know when you were in the relationship. And it's just so, so eye-opening and it really just makes you that much better for the next one and so i think just seeing that and being able to experience that is such a great feeling but obviously if you're not happy then get out of it sorry my eye is like bugging out on me if you guys watch my last vlog like my contacts are driving me crazy right now let's go ahead and do my makeup because i do have to film the intro and outro for the video i was late last night to dinner so i couldn't film my outfit but i'll just show you guys what i ended up wearing actually i might have to do that after because i have to do the laundry because my pants got dirty so okay so i just finished filming the intro and outro for my video and now i'm gonna edit the video i am getting a little hungry right now it's already it's already half past noon i don't know if i should make like the little ham and cheese pastries that i made yesterday or if i should just make a smoothie. I'm probably gonna go to the gym in a bit, so I'm gonna start editing this vlog as well as my dossier video. Actually, I might do that first just because it's due soon. So I wanna go ahead and submit that. In my get ready with me, I said that I wanted to do Vlogmas and I'm kind of thinking like every other day is doable for me because I don't do something every single day, but like I probably will do something every other day. I feel like that's manageable, but I'm not sure if like, will you guys watch it? Cause I feel like I don't want to vlog and then like nobody watches it like ever. So I kind of just am like, what, like, what do I do? I don't know. Anyway, let me get to editing this vlog and finalizing one that I actually have already edited. I just need to do some finishing touches to it and then hopefully get it up today. I'm just gonna be doing content stuff today. And where is my cord? I don't really know if I'm gonna eat anything right now. I don't feel like defrosting the pastry puff. So I'm probably just gonna make a smoothie in a bit. I don't know what to do. I'm like hungry, but I don't know for what. Let me go drink some water because I have not drinking water today. I'll see you guys in a bit after I edit for a little bit Hi guys, so I actually have not moved from my position only to like get up to the bathroom and like I made a corn earlier But other than that, I haven't had anything to eat We're not gonna go out to dinner today just because I feel so tired and I want to get back on my 5 a.m. routine so I profusely apologize <laughs> so I Am not gonna go out tonight I'll go to Medeo on like Thursday because we haven't gone this week so always want to go at least once a week so we have four days of dinners and we can choose one of those days to go so Thursday it is well we'll either go to Medeo or Matsuhisa but I kind of want fish on Thursday well fish is at both places but I meant like brands you know I actually was talking to my cousin today and I kind of asked her like how she would feel if I just sent her presents and not go because I really am just so tired of going I'm so tired of going to New York I just have a lot of things going on in my life right now and I feel super excited about it and I just feel like moving is something I'm not excited about let's say a relationship like flourishes and it's good and everything is going great like I probably won't move like I'll just stay in LA and live my life the way that I always have been just a little bit more in a better area I feel like because I do live in downtown not that I don't really hate it like I like it but all of the places that I go eat and everything is in Beverly Hills West Hollywood that area but I do want to go to Bavel a few more times because I love Bavel you guys know a lot so yeah I want to make my Sephora list for gifts because I feel like my last relationship is still like kind of looming over me so I kind of feel like 
maybe I should go to New York and kind of like clear the air and sit face to face and have a conversation because I feel like that's really what was needed whereas I was kind of just like okay yeah it's over like I don't I don't care like I'm over it because we hadn't seen each other in so long I feel like I want to throw up just even thinking about like sitting face to face and talking about the same issues over and over again as if I hadn't mentioned them like four or five times I'm gonna get back to working on some videos I actually think that I should make something to eat because I haven't I haven't eaten since I made my little did I even show you guys my breakfast I just made the chorizo I just made the chorizo little like burritos again and I had two of them I don't remember if I showed you guys oh my god but yeah I just had that for breakfast and then I had a corn and that was it like I haven't had anything since but I still need to continue working because I need to finish this video it's due tomorrow so I want to get it sent to the brand let's make a smoothie because I have been craving one all day and I have not had one I feel like I'm having withdrawals you guys will just see the same thing I never get I'm so sorry The coconut cream is spoiled. It, I mean, it's supposed to be used by the 25th, but it's the 24th today, and it tastes sour, so I'm not gonna eat it. Oh, it's so gross. I do have cocoa whip. I used to use this before I used um, the Zuma Valley, so I think it's pretty similar. I think this is a little sweeter for sure. But this one, you just have to warm it up a little bit and it's like, it takes a while. So sometimes I'll microwave it, but I don't really feel like doing that right now. I wonder, I froze some of the Vizuma Valley. I did freeze this coconut cream. So I wonder if this one went bad too, because they were all made at the same time. This one tastes fine. I'm going to let this one thaw out overnight and see if it's good for tomorrow. Fingers and fingers crossed this is not gonna look as aesthetic <gasps> sadly oh it's not even whipped. like whipped enough like it doesn't stay it's fine it still makes it taste good even though it doesn't look that great it's supposed to be like more whipped this is not going well this is a good cold whip if you guys like cold whip but you want something healthier this is um coconut I don't have that much spirulina, I don't think I really... I don't really care for the look right now, I just want to drink it because I'm just hungry. Okay, I'm gonna finish my smoothie and get some editing done. I'm sorry today was like literally nothing, we didn't do anything. And I just like don't feel like going out to dinner, I just want to like be home for once. Like I would be in an Uber right now on my way to dinner, it's 7.15. But I'm happy to be home, I just want to like relax you guys, this is... If this vlog is up, let me know where we should go for dinner. If you guys have any recommendations or places that you want me to try, let me know, of course. I'd be more than happy to. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hi guys, good morning. I am super exhausted. Um, I didn't vlog the past two days because I've just been crying, like crying my eyes out. And it's so infuriating to people who do not post about Gaza because it's like, how can you not, how can you not, like, how can you see this happening and not say anything? Like, even if it's just like one post, but like to completely not acknowledge it and pretend like it's not even happening is insane to me, actually insane. I, I couldn't like, the video of the little girl crying about her mom because she recognized her from her hair, like, I couldn't breathe. I was crying so hard. It's just like one thing after another after another and oh my god like I it was so overwhelming to see everything and then to have our president like not even acknowledge it like that's actually insane that's actually insane also I will leave donation links down below so you guys can go ahead and donate every dollar counts I needed to take a break from vlogging because I was not okay so I'm headed to Santa Barbara today I'm gonna go finally see the Montecito house I also have Legree tomorrow morning when I'm up there I'm gonna be back tomorrow evening just because I don't really want to stay there for the whole weekend maybe I can try to get some outfits together just to see 
kind of what the idea is but i did order some black boots i don't entirely love them so i'm not going to recommend them but i just got them just because i needed them for my trip because i wanted to wear one of my coats for like when i'm in the city you guys saw like my gray coat last year that is pretty much what is going on this morning i have agree in about 40 minutes so i'm gonna head there pretty soon then i ended up cutting my bangs just a little bit because they were getting a little too long i kind of was thinking like oh maybe i should just grow my whole hair out but no we're not doing that we are not doing that i really like having bangs um i just need to work on growing the rest of my hair because it is not so short i feel like it's so short i also made some lemon water so i could have before my class and i actually feel so sore i've done legree i did it monday tuesday wednesday thursday so i have it again today and i'm just like oh my gosh why did i do this because i feel so sore but it's like a good sore like i feel like finally i'm getting back into legree and into my 12 through 30. actually 12 through 30 i have not been enjoying still but like once you get it going and like you're already on the treadmill it's like okay fine i'll finish it and then like you just continue to walk because like you're already on the treadmill so 12 30 it's just like a drag to get to the gym even though it's a few floors down it's pretty gloomy this morning i'll show you guys what it looks like outside this is what our view is looking like super gloomy today really gloomy that is what is going on also i didn't realize that the number one question i would be asked when i said i was moving to new york was what am i gonna miss most about la literally everything literally everything mm. i have to get ready because like I told you guys before, I'm gonna head to Santa Barbara today and I have to leave at 3 so I still have quite a bit of time left I'm having my first coffee in a month I just like, I just want to taste it again, okay? I won't do it again, but I just wanted to taste it I just need, I feel like, I feel like it's almost a drug <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, just a little bit, just a little bit I'm gonna do my everyday routine I already did my sunscreen so I'm just gonna do primer now and I don't have to take all my makeup with me because I'm not gonna be there for like the whole weekend. It's just until tomorrow evening. I just washed my sheets and she's going crazy all over it. This is why I like have to keep her in the bathroom until they're done. Until I'm done making the bed and everything. Because if not, she will attack me. Like 50% of the time that she's attacked me is probably from me putting my sheets on my bed. Like I don't know why she goes crazy over that. But I used a Paris pod today and I have the regular espresso machine. Nespresso machine. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. I need to like I need to like savor it. <laughs> yeah, look at all my my bedding there that I have to put away. But I'll do it like literally right before I leave. I actually want to I need to download Google Maps because I realized that I can like pin I realized that I could pin all of the apartments that I'm interested in and then kind of pin also my Legree studio Legree is like so important to me you guys like you guys have no idea I I know I've talked about it over and over again I even considered living in Darien but Darien only has solid core I don't think it has Legree well actually I don't know I don't think the times go well with my schedule so I prefer morning classes yeah I didn't really like it there in that area but I definitely want to make sure that the Legree studio has like really good timing for booking my classes and everything and then I kind of book like how far away it is and like how much i'd have to walk to the studio and things like that at this moment i'm still doing everything that i have to do in order to get approved for an apartment in the city just because i haven't applied for anywhere in the city i only applied outside of the city and i'm still not opposed to it like i don't mind it i just hate that they have that new surcharge for cars and everything which is kind of annoying yeah i like the idea of me having a bigger space and just more space for luna so for now, I'm still set on that. I just got an email this morning that other units opened up. So the first place that I was interested in is not necessarily the place that I am guaranteed of like wanting to go. I just wanted to make sure that my application was in the system and that I had all the required documents to get approved. So I'm just waiting for like a unit or something that I like. And I also obviously want to go see it in person. I did look at a lot of apartments when I was in the city beforehand, but those were all- I think like most of them are gone now. I think there's only like two more that are left and it's because they look old and janky, like gross. Because of the war and because it's such a prevalent 
event in today's history and like where you stand matters um i am doing background checks on most of the realtors and looking at their instagram and everything and just ensuring that like we kind of are on the same page because if we're not then i just know that i'm not going to be happy and i don't feel comfortable giving someone like a huge chunk of my money when they're supporting like zionists and genocide so i'm actively checking that and i feel like before it was so easy to just look for a place and be like okay this is what i want submit all your documents and everything and like it was fine and now i feel like there are many more steps that i want to take in order to ensure that my money is going in the right place yeah i know new york is a heavily jewish population but it's not about people being jewish like i don't care i just ordered a new concealer because it is sephora sale today so i'm super excited i've been needing an hourglass concealer for the longest time so i finally ordered a new one and then also wanted to order a few more things for like christmas gifts so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm super anxious about this trip to new york not for like any really particular reason i think because it's gonna be my last trip there before i move and i think i'm having trouble justifying the move because i just feel like life is so good right now and obviously it has its ups and downs but like i mean come on it's sunny in la it's such good weather we have so many great places to eat so much great food and I just don't know that I would be as happy and I'm like scared. I'm so scared you guys like I don't even think I I feel like I'm not even like is it translating on camera? So like I I'm so scared to move and it's not because of I don't know it's not because of like any one particular person or anything like that it's just because it's obviously a new environment and I think it's just the unknown like not knowing what's gonna happen once I get there like I'm so scared I feel like if you've never had a move this big I don't think you really understand your I feel like some people are kind of like, okay, Jenny, get over it. Like, we get it, you're moving. I feel like this week especially, I've kind of reconsidered a few things. Life just feels so good lately, and I'm just so happy. And I love my company. I love, not my work job, just like people, people company. I just love the way that life is going. I know there are not a lot of like great food options outside of New York City, like Manhattan. I mean, someone's gonna be like, oh my God, Queens has really good. I don't care about Queens, okay? It's not an area that I want to live in. I personally feel like Brooklyn is a little bit cheaper than Manhattan. Like it's getting on the cusp of like being just as expensive, but I do think that it is obviously getting more gentrified. And I feel like the people who have lived there beforehand, I don't feel like they're very friendly. I don't know, you see on TikTok and everything how people talk so much shit about transplants and Th that's literally how I feel like in LA I'm just like go back to where you came from and that's so fucked up so I'm sorry that I've ever said that I'm so sorry that I've ever said that I don't know everyone's experience is different for dinner we're gonna go to Trey Loon and I'm so excited there also is the Lucky's out there as well but I don't really want to go to Lucky's today I want to try out the Italian spot that's out there because my Charlotte Tilbury is broken I've been using this one at home but I really like using this one to actually like push the product in and that's like my favorite way to use this so i'm gonna do that and it makes everything look so smooth and then taking the laura mercier blurring powder i'm gonna take this and set the under eyes and i only put enough to just lightly set it i never realized how much of a process moving is because when i moved i obviously have said this so many times but i moved in a week out of my old house i did everything so fast so i'm not used to like dwelling over certain units or thinking about where i'm gonna live or like it was never like i didn't have time to think i just was kind of like okay let's let's get out of here let's get out of here so to be able to process this and kind of go through the motions of like my emotions and how I feel and like experience every emotion, it's very different. It's very different. And like being that it's two months out, it's like I'm so scared, like I'm scared shitless. But I know at the end of the day, everything always works out and I'm always super grateful for that. I did repurchase the Refi Lip Sculpt and this one is in the shade Fawn. This one is my shade. I'll leave the name of the shade that I used before on the screen, but I don't remember like the exact name of it. I just know that it wasn't my shade because it was a little bit too light for me, but I did like how it looked on other people. I think it was taupe, but it was super pretty on like other people, just like not for my skin tone. This color is a little bit pinky for me, but I can look past that because once you put everything else on, 
it looks a little bit more nude i'm not the biggest fan of retractable lip liners but i think because this one has a cover and i actually don't have one i think if it's for your purse then it's great just because the pencil ones are not ideal and this one kind of just stays like one size so it's great but then the pencils can be like a little bit longer and it's just like an awkward shape luna Although I love pencil liners, I just feel like it's a pain to kind of sharpen, especially if you're out and about or if you're traveling and then you somehow realize that you don't have a sharpener with you. So this one's great for travel, I feel like. And I'm gonna compare the shade. Also remember to always twist this down after you use it because it can break easily. I saw a lot of people mention that. The bottom shade is Kylie, the top shade is the Lip Sculpt. The top shade is She's Strong by Patrick Ta. And then on top of that is coconut, which is the first shade here. And then, wow, none of these shades are actually. And then the top shade is LA Girls Spice, Sugar and Spice. So I would say that one is very similar to it, except it's a little bit more pinky. And then this one is a little bit similar, but this one is a little bit darker. So those are the lip shades that I have. Oh my god. The only one that's left on there is the Kylie liner in kylie that's so funny i've been using this pouch with my goyard and it's so cute because it's like green and green and this is kind of like neutral but it's still monogram which i think is kind of cute so i've been using those two together and then this is the dior attic lip maximizer and this is in the shade 038 i don't know what shade that is but this is like the mini sample that you get with the orders and i love the size of this look at that color it is so pretty 038 but this is already a gloss so then i add the dior lip oil on top of it <laughs> i just realized i didn't do my eyes and then i'm gonna add this on top of it oh i actually didn't seal the lip liner <gasps> i totally forgot i'll reapply it i'm gonna bring my lip oil with me this thing gets so messy though it's so annoying so i finished my lashes i don't know if i should do sparkly in the inner corner but i'm just gonna do it I just put my Laura Mercier pencil in the inner corner. I use metallic taupe and my hair is still curly from yesterday so I think I'm just gonna leave it and then my bangs are kind of like, my bangs are okay. Okay, let's go find an outfit. It's gonna take two hours to get there. I wish it wasn't gonna take as long. That means I should leave at like two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what time I'm supposed to leave. I just finished my makeup and I don't know if I should take this bag or my Kohan because I feel like this could fit everything. It's just that I have my sneakers for tomorrow's workout. That's like the only thing that would be like bigger, I guess. I think it could work though. It's just because I don't want to take like a bigger bag. I feel like this is good enough for uh, an overnight bag. And I'll show you guys everything that's in it. I cannot forget my Legree socks. So I have to pack that. I did accidentally have my tweezers loose in here, so I was actually terrified that it was going to scratch it or cut the leather, but it is actually fine. I actually forgot that I have a navy set, so I'm going to wear that just because I'm going to wear my mini Goyard as my bag for dinner and breakfast and everything. It'll also be the bag that I take with me to my workout. I need to lint roll this though because Luna's hair is all over it. I'm also going to bring this mini white sweater. I wore this a lot when I was in New York, but I think in a little bit before summer ended, but I really like that all together. And then I'm going to wear my new balance probably with it, but you don't wear like shoes in your Legree class so it doesn't matter and then for my socks i'm bringing my slt socks i actually love these more than the megaformer studio ones just because these are more like grippy if that even makes sense this is my outfit for dinner tonight i'm just wearing white slacks with this button up lily silk top and it feels so nice i still really like it i do feel like it doesn't like dry clean well because i have dry cleaned it a few times it looks like it's kind of fading just a little bit so i don't really like that but whatever i wish like it also just opened up a little bit more but i'm gonna steam it before i wear it so we'll see if it kind of shapes a little bit and then for tomorrow it's gonna be a little bit warmer tomorrow i'm gonna wear these shorts and then also this long sleeve top this one's from yesto it's kind of like a knit kind of material and i really like it i actually did not wear it at all last winter i think i wore it maybe once but i really like it i just feel like this color doesn't go 
100% well with my skin tone but I also need to buy a new pair of white shorts because I have worn these so much that I just need another pair I kind of want to do a like wardrobe favorites just because I don't wear a lot of different things so I feel like when I do find something that I love outfit repeating then I feel like it's a big deal but I did just recently purchase a bunch of new clothes so I'm really excited for that not like a ton actually just like staple products that are very expensive but I think it's worth it we are back here at my desk but let's pack my toiletry 19 with me um my lip products I'm not gonna bring anything new just because I'm gonna wear the same lip for concealer I'm going to bring this Lancome Bisque W, it's in 6WN, so 6 neutral. And then also my NARS concealer. I'm gonna bring my Benefit eyebrow pencil. Also, definitely need mascara, but I'm just gonna bring my Thrive, because that one's my favorite. Blush, I'm bringing my Laura Mercier just because it's a little bit more subtle for tomorrow. For bronzer, I'm bringing the Rare Beauty Stick because it's easier to work with. I'm going to bring my newest Charlotte Tilbury powder because it's not going to make a mess in my stuff. Still need the mini I mini tightline pencils, so I'm going to bring that. It's just really tiny. I just want like travel size of all the things that I love. Um for under eyes, I'm actually going to bring the Becca because I don't want a super super full coverage tomorrow, I don't think. I might regret that tomorrow, but hopefully I don't. Mini Laura Mercier powder bringing my mini stay highlighter also my eye drops of course and i think that's everything that i need um and then for brushes i'm gonna bring my mini sephora brush like barely fits in here and then it's not gonna fit in here but just my two patrick top brushes those will come with me as well just these two i want to get the smaller one during the sale but yeah they're dirty because i use them every day and then also just my beauty blender and that is everything tomorrow after lunch i think i'm just gonna drive to long beach say hi to my mom before i leave to the city because the trip is like it's less than a week but it's still kind of a little bit of a long time but no i don't really have anything planned but i do have homework that i have to finish because i just started another session of an eight week course so wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck i'm just obsessed with this lip combo right now like it is so good oh that is everything also Last but not least, my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I don't really like need it to stay that long to be honest, but just nice to have. And then primer, I'm not really sure primer does anything for me, so it's fine. I'll just use my sunscreen as primer. That's everything, should be enough. That is my makeup bag. Oh, this is my overnight bag. Literally, this will only be good for like three days. Like you could put another outfit in here, but you can't wear different shoes basically. And I'm just gonna wear my little tan flats that I have. That is what's in here. And then I have to steam my other outfit like I told you guys, so that's everything. And then, oh, I forgot my socks. And then for my everyday bag, Shantakai, everything that's in here, literally. This bag is always such a mess because I have so many things. Lots of little perfume samples because I never know what to wear. My little pill case. I actually left my other one in New York and I was devastated because my medicine for studying was in there and I was just like, I just didn't have it. So I was a little depressed to say the least. I don't know where it is. I think I left it in New York, like in a hotel room. I obviously don't have it with me. And then I really like warheads because it kind of makes me a little less anxious, but these are like stuck to the wrapper, so I need to get new ones. I have my brush. This is my wallet that I've been using lately. I just love the size and like, if it works, it works. Hand sanitizer as always. My extra charger. This has blister band-aids in there. Hair pods. Mini Dior lip gloss. My keys. My eyelash curler sunglasses i like them in the hard case because i feel like in the soft case they can actually get damaged i just finished getting ready also do not fret i just remembered pajamas so i did throw those in there it's just my skims long sleeve and then just a pair of sleeping shorts but i want to show you guys what i got for my goddaughter so i got her this sweater how cute is it look at how dark you guys this is so tiny i don't think you understand but anyway i got her this to match with these pants my aunt loved these pants so i ended up picking them up that is a set it doesn't come as a set but i just got it for that and then 
also this one we've been looking for like a set for her like this forever and every time we find one they're always sold out so really happy that i found these they're from zara kids and i want to go back and look for some more but i'll go tomorrow because i don't have time today and then i also picked up this top because i'm going to f1 so i thought it would be cute with some black slacks and just like some heels and then if i like have my hair up i think that would be super cute but i'll try it on when i get back tomorrow and then i also got this package from peach and lily there was no note or anything that came with it aside from this one so it says their five year anniversary then it comes with all these products i've only tried their glass serum and i really liked it but it's been a long time since i've tried it so i'm excited to try all these other products and you guys know i'm not purchasing any skincare from sephora sales so this will be nice to have something to try out but let's go ahead and go i have to go to the condo first to pick up the car and then after that i will head to santa barbara so that's the plan bye okay so i added a few more things in there i added my laptop and then just the charger and also my pjs and it fits perfectly well not perfectly actually it's a little it's a little stuffy so definitely recommend a GM. He did offer to give me a St. Louis but I actually ended up getting some clothes instead and then I also got a bag from the row so I'm so excited to show you guys that but yeah imagine that. Imagine me getting the row instead of Goyard like who am I? But I love understated bags lately and this is just perfect it's like a little bit of both. Really happy to have this I feel like I'm stretching it out a bit much but it's literally just for one day so I think it's fine if it was like a weekend then yeah this is not this is not feasible okay this is not yeah it's literally just one night so it'll be fine she'll be okay we should name her i don't know what name to name her also this is my stack i actually think i'm gonna take off the gold because i feel like it's a bit too loud i feel like two is too many right and then one is just enough i ended up changing this shirt is a little bit more comfortable to move in and then also i wanted to bring a jacket so i'm bringing my navy burberry jacket and this is what my makeup is looking like just super natural i love it i can't believe you guys let me have the eyebrows the eyebrows that i had when i was living in malibu like why why didn't anyone tell me that why were you guys like oh my god jenny your makeup looks so good like please 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 next time there won't be a next time but like that was so bad it's taking forever and a day to get an uber it's like double the price now this is crazy like everything is so much more expensive in la right now and i don't understand i'm not understanding it so like lyft drivers used to be a lot better than uber and now i feel like lyft is just accepting anybody and i hate it like the drivers are so bad and the cars are so old it's like so disturbing luna's trying to get up to get her treat because i hit it Hi guys, so I have not picked up the camera since that day actually because I ended up driving up to Santa Barbara and then we went to, where did we go for dinner? Dinner. We went. Oh, we went to Trey Loon and then I saw the house, fixed up some things around the place and then um, the next day we went to D'Angelo's for breakfast and then we also went to Lucky's for dinner. What did we do after that? I walked around the property, did a little bit of shopping. He did like a little Sephora run for me because Sephora sale was on. And then the next morning, we ended up going to the Miramar for breakfast. And then we walked around the property. It was so nice and so peaceful. It's like right on the beach. And the food there was delicious. The following Monday, I wanted to debrief you guys a little bit on like my weekend and what I did and everything. And I was like going into detail about it because it was so much fun and just like getting the place together but monday morning i ended up driving to long beach to go and get some kamai food and then i also got just some treats that i've been wanting because i had to go really early because they put them out really early and then i wanted to meet up with my mom and then after that i was just gonna head home well i was actually heading to my nail appointment so while i was like almost getting on the freeway i ended up getting rear-ended and so that was kind of annoying because i was like the first person at the light and the girl behind me 
ended up like running into me because the signal light had turned green and then I think she thought like our lane turned green but she had to have like been on her phone or something because yeah she just like rammed into me and I was like how do you do that like you don't like you look at the light you don't look at like the signal light unless you like were doing something and you look up and you only see one green light so whatever anyways that ended up happening and then over like the next week I wasn't able to go to Legree so I couldn't do my workout. I was doing 12, 3, 30 and cardio just like really lightly. And then my back was hurting a ton. And so I just like have not been able to really like go out and do stuff. And um, I really haven't been able to be as active as I wanted to. I wanted to start like the November workout challenge and I couldn't really do that. And so I canceled all of my Legree uh, workouts I canceled my bunda workouts I had so many scheduled so my back has been hurting quite a bit this past week and so I just I just have to go see a chiropractor and get that situated so because of that I have not really been able to like go out and do stuff we didn't really go out to dinner what did we do Oh, we went to Stereo Labuca like one of the days like Tuesday night but that was the only day that we went out because I was feeling like pretty normal and I was still like shaken up from the accident but then the days after I just like was not feeling good because of like my back and like getting up and doing things didn't end up going to Santa Barbara this weekend because of that and so yeah so that's where I'm at also I was pretty much depressed like all week because I was in pain and then I was also stuck at home watching everything that was going on in the world and so it made me like even more depressed so yeah it was a pretty uneventful week to say the least but that's what happened so i just wanted to kind of like update you guys because there's not really a lot that happened after like this portion of like me getting ready and like doing everything at home so i do apologize but i hope that you guys understand i did film a few videos today and then i also am going to film tomorrow and then i have a few meetings online for work and then also did some schoolwork for a course that I have. Also, since like I still want to do cardio because I want to move my body, like I have to. I can't just stay in like a vegetative state because that's just not okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Hopefully this week is a little bit better. I am gonna go see the chiropractor either tomorrow or the day after. Ideally tomorrow because I cannot handle this. That's pretty much what happened. I just kind of wanted to update you guys on like what was going on since I hadn't uploaded in a week. But I definitely want to get back into it. So if there are any videos that you guys want to see, make sure to comment them down below. And then also I do have like a what's in my bag like travel edition, which I'm super excited to film for you guys. And so that will be filmed. And then I have like a few other video ideas that I want to put out. So very excited for that. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Please, please, please.